All right, guys, the last thing we're going to talk about for nighttime navigation, uh, we just talked about LURD and using the stars. Um, we're going to talk about lunar navigation. Now, this is these are both two basic concepts. Lunar navigation is going to work just like solar navigation. Um, there's a slight modification, but it's going to work the same way where it's going to move across the southern arc in the sky in the northern hemisphere and a uh, northern arc in the sky in the southern hemisphere, and it's going to move across the sky in an east to west fashion. So, we have our moon right here. And at night, it's going to move across the sky, as I just said, in an east, east to west uh, motion, right across the sky. So that, that in and of itself, if it's early in the night and we catch the moon coming up over the trees or whatever, or the horizon, we know it's coming up in the east, and then at, later at night, we'll know it's going down in the, uh, in the west. Alright guys, so we got our basic east to west movement across the sky of the moon, just like the sun, rising on the east, setting on the west. Um, if you're in the northern hemisphere, we'll put north. Um, the, the moon's going to move a southern arc across the sky, and if you're in the southern hemisphere, it's going to move on a northern arc. Now, there's a little trick. That's what these, this is going to start over here. Um, there's a little trick for identifying... Uh, your south or north line with the moon. Um, it works pretty well. It's a little different than the sun, but it doesn't work for a new moon or a full moon. That's these two up here, so it, this technique isn't going to work when the moon is full. Or if it's new, you're not going to be able to navigate with the moon at all because you're not going to be able to see it. But basically what we're going to do is we have our moon and we're just, it's going to be a half moon, right? Now, here's the arc on it. It's moving across the sky, just like him up there. So what's going to happen is we're going to look at this, and we're going to use this point on the moon and this point to create a line. And we're going to follow that line all the way to the ground or the horizon. So here's the ground. And what this is going to do, if we're in the northern hemisphere, this spot right here is going to be our southern mark or for south. And if we're in the southern hemisphere, this is going to be our location of north. So, so this works with any kind of moon except the full or new. So I'll just draw a few more examples here. We have, we'll do a crescent moon like this. Now what's going to happen here is you're going to take the tip here tip here and you're going to create this line and then you're going to follow it all the way down to the horizon and that's your point for either south or north depending on which hemisphere you're in and then we'll do one more example over here we have the moon and it will be a uh, three quarter moon just like that and once again we're going to take this point right here and this point Make that line, and we're going to follow it all the way to the horizon. And then that's going to be our point. Now, something to keep in mind when using this, the higher in the sky the moon is, the more accurate it's going to be. So, if we were, we, this is the ideal spot we want to take the reading on the moon when it reaches its peak. Um... If we take a reading from the moon when it's over here or over here, what's going to happen is that line is going to shoot you either shorter, so you'll be looking here instead, or like this, and it'll hit before the actual southern mark. So basically, try to wait for the moon to hit its peak. You're not going to obviously get a perfect match. You're not going to be able to do this and then shoot an azimuth on the compass and it's going to be perfectly south. You might get lucky and it might be perfectly south, but it, once again, this is just like navigation with the sun, navigation with lurd, navigation with vegetation. This is going to be a general direction or general heading of which way to go. 
Now, once again, I'm putting both of these together in this video because when you use um, natural navigation like this or techniques like this, you want to use more than one form to validate um, what you've just established as a heading. So if you were to take, and this moon wasn't at its peak and you shot this to be your southern point, and then you went back and you did LERD and you realized, though this isn't the southern point, the southern point's more over here based on the stars, then you basically you know you have a general direction or you might want to reshoot what your moon saw. So basically, the more you can validate, so using both of these together, LERD and lunar navigation like this, it will allow you to get a more accurate heading. All right, guys, so that was just two rudimentary, very basic ways to navigate uh, yourself at night or just orient yourself. Um, these techniques are very simple. Um, there are other techniques out there for doing things like finding certain constellations, finding the North Star, things like that, but those are a little more complex. And just for basic navigation purposes, these two, um, if you can master these two, then you're all set. You, you've got a really good grasp on navigating yourself or just orienting yourself without implements or tools um, out in the field. These are two concepts that you can just pick up and just learn really fast, really simply, and get good at them. Um, just like all my other basic navigation things with vegetation and solar that I already put up, it's very easy to use. Um, I might do an advanced series and put uh, finding certain constellations and things like that, but just for this purpose, these are, these are good to have in your back pocket. Now, if you have any questions regarding night navigation or uh, either of these techniques, LERD or uh, lunar navigation, feel free to message me. My email is in the description as all, uh, below, as always. Sorry, tripping over my words. Thanks for checking out my channel. Thanks for checking out my videos, and I hope to see you around.